right, so guys, tonight we are in for a treat. We have a regional director all the way from Australia. All the way from Australia. Okay, Miss Diane Collins is about to like jump out of her seat. But this woman, her relentlessness, her tenacity, her grit, and just, she's such a boss. Like I look at her and I wanna be like her when I grow up, but she knows that. And I love this woman, even though I just met her this past year, but Without further ado, we're going to hear from Regional Director Ms. Kaz out of Australia. Take it away. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Natasha. It's so good. We were delayed and it was so nice. Everyone just popped up like popcorns on the screen. It was like, yay, we're all here. Thank you so much, Natasha. Yes, you've been amazing. Sorry, Miss is Natasha Ismail. Guys, if we don't say the Miss and Mr., it's not meaning anything wrong. We Aussies don't get too formal. We're too laid back. It's all no worries, mate. So if you don't hear the Miss or the Mr., that's the Aussie way of doing it. So we love you as much, Natasha. Thank you for the lovely introduction. You're amazing. And I always look forward to your calls as well and really learn a lot from you. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your support that you give me. And sorry if I call you too often and talk to you <laughs> and want to stay in touch. So you don't how's everyone enough. doing? Hey? You don't call me enough. <laughs> don't call me enough? All right, I got it. <laughs> how are you all doing? Having good fun? Had a good week? In Australia, it's Sunday. For you guys, it's Saturday night. So a lot of you, that's amazing that you're on the call. And you know, thank you all for being here. For what a year it's been starting, 2020, and look where we are in 2021. I'm gonna play something for you uh, and then we get started. But before I do that, I'll share a little bit of my story for those who are new on the call and don't know a lot about me. I'm regional director in ACN. I've been doing this for the last three years now along with my real estate business. I'm a traditional real estate business owner and uh, been doing that for seven years now. That's going really good guns. And I'm an, an, an entrepreneur, uh, oh, entrepreneur and I've got other businesses as well that I've bought into. So I like to do a few things. I like being busy uh, and, and making things happen. And I'm a single mother uh, as well of two beautiful kids. And, and that's what I do to keep myself busy. But let's see. what we got here let me share my screen all right someone give me a thumbs up if you can see that I'll minimize that all right let's make this full screen does it go full screen yes it does all right How was that? How was that? Every time I watch it, it is so good. The music is so energizing, so captivating. But when I read the words in it, how many of us have been doing this for a few years now? 2019 was the next gen. How many of you were there during the next gen that ACN ran? Beautiful. Then 2020, we had level up. And 2021 is a new beginning, a new era that we're beginning and it's game on. And what is game on is to be your best version. I asked Mr. Thomas as well to tell me what you would like to share on this. And he said, let the you know, universe guide you and go with it. And all if I focus on what we heard throughout the week from the other leaders and what ACN is telling us as well, then you know, to, to really game on. And last week I shared of sitting and actually talking to yourself, knowing what you wanna do. How many of you actually got the chance to sit down and think of what you really want? Did anyone get a chance to do that? Okay, that's good, you're being honest, that's good. Some of us, we think, we forget, we wanna do it, but then life gets in the way and we don't really come back to the focus. You know, we can be on these calls every single day, but we've heard from Mr. Byron Nelson. 
Mr. Thomas as well. Mr. James Adlin during the week spoke as well on one of the calls that was shared on our group and I heard. Natasha Ismail said about the same thing. We've got to focus and we've got to know our pathway and go where we're going. So that's what led me to today's uh, leadership training and I've put a few things together. So hope I can guide you and, and serve, serve you as well today. What I like in the video you just saw is set your mind, build your team, write your legacy, be bold, be brave, no limits, create, commit, connect, game on. Simple things we've been hearing every day. We just watch the video, but how much do we really focus on what's in it? Simple words, just what we got to do and everything else is covered. Is that right? Yes or yes? It's so simple, just connect with it. So if you've not, who is, since we spoke last, Mr. Byron Nelson said the same thing last weekend as well. Who is your accountability buddy? Who are you talking to? Who do you surround yourself with? Are you really ready? The first quarter of 2021 is done. Done, two weeks in March is done. 27th, we've got the big event here in Asia Pacific. I think you guys have it on the 20th. It's all happening. First quarter is done. Are we ready? How much action have we taken? And if you haven't done an accountability check, how many of us go to accountants for our business? And then at the end of the year, we say, please save us some tax. It's not that way. If you go to an accountant in time earlier, he can tell you what steps to take to make sure your business is successful. So please have an accountability buddy, do a health check on your business, see what you've done, how many customers you've acquired, how many IBOs you've gotten and see where you stand at and, and actually do a check. Yes, do a check and see where you're really at. Be specific, know where you're going. Every one of us is unique. Every one of us is unique. Don't leave your benchmark that someone else has created for you. No limits, the video says no limits, go all out. Really reach out to something you've never done before. It is okay, it is okay to do that. Who are you really? Who are you? Do not allow your dreams to suffer just because you don't let your imagination go wild. Go deep, go deep within. Think harder, go deeper. Don't be afraid to think big friends. We are all everyday individuals doing things. Life gets in the way. We all need to think big. It is scary. Shit, yeah, it's scary. It's hard. It's very unsettling, a very lonely place. If you're a traditional business owner, it's a very lonely place. We don't live paycheck, you know, we don't get paycheck guaranteed every week. We've got to create that paycheck. It is hard, but because you dream big, your vision is in front of you. How many of you have a vision board that you see every day? Reflect on it. Take out a few picture frames off your walls if there is no place and you've got too many things there, put your vision boards up there. You know, put your vision board around your family. See your reason why. Go deep. Go deep and connect. One thing is constant. Any takers? Anyone wants to shout out what is constant? Anyone want to participate and tell me what is constant and guaranteed in life? Change. change. Corey, that's it. Change. I could read your lips. You don't even need to unmute yourself. He was loud and clear. Change is constant. 100%. Haven't we all grown older? and younger and prettier every day. Don't we all add different concealers and different makeup every single day? Change in constant. Our birthdays have gone from the one candle to God knows how many candles now. If we can do that, why can't we accept change in our life and take those steps? When your kids were crawling or started to walk and they fall, we go, that's all right. And we bump them up and keep going. But if we fail, no, no, I can't do this. I told you I can't do it. I told you it's just not me. It's just not me, I can't do this. No, we accept that and we set ourselves back because we live on somebody else's benchmark. Don't make your dreams in life because what someone else has set for you. Keep going. When I was listening to, um, I was listening to this uh, uh, Bollywood actress, a very successful one, Priyanka Chopra, and the Americans know her as Nick Jonas's wife now. Uh, and she's now, <laughs> yes, there Miss Sensational goes, yes, now I know who you mean. You know, she was in the Quantico series and stuff like that. She's an amazing, she became Miss World uh, representing India and, you know, 
from platform to platform, she's grown leaps and bounds herself. And I was listening to her videos as well. And she said, use the Brahmastama within. Now, what, 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 what was that? You weren't meant to understand. You and I had to read it a few times, but it's a Sanskrit word. It's derived from the Sanskrit language. Brahmastama is the spiritual weapons you have within you. The spiritual weapons of the ancient Indian mythology where they've used the power within. The Asians call it the chi. Use your chi inside, use your strength within, use your powers within that you have, you know, and let it out, let it out, focus. But you've got to know what's deep within to, you know, be able to open that, be fearless, be fearless in what you want because you know where you're going. You know where you're going, you know, you've got to bring it out. Be who you want to be. Don't break that glass ceiling. There's really nothing there to, you know, stop you. Yeah, but you need to be prepared, friends. Be prepared. Opportunities don't make appointments. Opportunities don't come saying, I'm going to come on the... 20th of March, when you watch the ACN event, that will be your opportunity. That's when you break through. It's not. Opportunities are there around you every single day. But only if you're prepared, only. Listen, people, listen, listen, Linda. Only if you're prepared can you recognize that opportunity. You need to know how to recognize that opportunity. Yes? So that's what it is, but you need to be prepared. Only if you know where you're going, you can be prepared. You can detour, but you'll come back on track because you need to be prepared and know where you're going. But the main thing is you need to recognize the opportunity and let it be very clear. We've heard this time and time and again, we can ask any questions in different angles. Hey, it's gonna be work. It's gonna take work. It's gonna be you picking up the opportunity. No one's gonna say, here it is. Yes, Mr. Julian Lewis, take the opportunity, run with it. He's go, oh, what do I do with it? Because he's not prepared. He wouldn't know even if it's in his hand. You've got to be prepared and you've got to work it and work it really hard. I loved it, loved it when Natasha was talking about something earlier in the week and she talked about the hot air balloon. We all want to rise high. We want, all of us want the panoramic view from there, you know, and want to go for the champagne breakfast after that, after you've had the ride. Well, when you... When you want to rise, what is the first thing the pilot's got to do? Let go of the sandbags. Let go of those, you know, sandbags, all those pre-fed wrong data. You've got to let loose of some of those things to then be able to rise high, recognize those opportunities. It said to us the same thing. We all saying the same thing in different stories, different forms. We just got to let loose every bit, one day at a time to take it to the next level. Yes or yes, friends. I think it's so important. We hear these champions speak to us every day, go, ah, I wish I could do that. Damn, I went to the shop as well. Damn, I went to Starbucks. Damn, I had a coffee, but I didn't talk. The opportunity was there, but we didn't take it. So we need to be prepared and be comfortable and okay. But don't worry. If they don't give you the number, say, nah, that's all right, I'm too busy. That's okay. Another, another constant with change is failure. If you want to succeed, You've got to fail. You've got to be okay with it. You've got to be okay with it. If you just want to succeed, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. How many of us watch the Miss Universe round? They go from round to round to different round till the final round comes through. So we've got to take those steps. We've got to go through those different levels and accept it, you know, and don't be afraid. Take the opportunity, run with it. And I loved when Natasha, Miss Ismail said mad, but I added the bad mad. I want to be bold and diverse and driven really to make a difference. To make a difference and go mad, you got to be bold and you have to have the drive to do it. In the cockpit can only be you. Only you can drive you. Only you can be there for you. How many of us have read the safety card in an airplane? What does it say? Put your oxygen mask first. First, even if you have an infant, it's you first, because only then you can drive there and be there to help others. 
You know, the cabin crew is not selfish if they put their jackets on first. No, they need to do that first to be able to then help everyone else. Probably captain gets the oxygen mask first as well. So, you know, he's come down probably a second before all of us. He needs to press his button first to help the rest of us and fly us down to safety. It's always you, numero uno, you. You've got to be in there to drive for yourself. Become absolutely daring to make the difference, right? You're not harming anyone, just do it anyways. Um, you've got to be hungry. You've got to be really hungry. You've got to be really wanting it. And none of us, Mr. Julian Lewis, none of us RDs, none of us RVPs, don't have to take names, everyone. No one can want it more for you than you yourself. And that's why when we say people say no, what do we do? They say, let go, go to the next one. Don't try and drag people because you can't want it more than them. You can't want them to succeed because then you're not helping them. You're really not helping them. So we need to move on and go on from there. Right? Right. Are we good so far? Is that making sense? Is that good? Yeah, is it connecting? Can we do it? Can we do it? Yes. Yes, we've got to because only you can. Time and tide waits for no one. You've got to do it for yourself. And the lost time is gone. That's why it said time is money. You know, once you've lost it, it's gone. You've got to then create something else with what's left over. So it's not going to come back, right? All right, beautiful. I got asked the question. I was seeing somebody um, last weekend and they said, Kaz, but you're so busy. How do you have time for yourself? What do you do? When do you watch TV? When you, it's like, I'm busy, but I enjoy what I do. I love it. Yesterday I went to a community event and they said, Kaz, every evening whenever we asked you to make the kids do some dance practice, you were never available because I've got my other business I need to be at. And uh, she said, but how did you make it today? I said, I know what loss I'm giving up, what I'm giving up to be here today. And they go, oh, why is that? They wanted like, you know, inquisitive minds want to know where we are going. And I said, I'm busy. I've got a plan. I've got it all chalked out and laid out, right? You have a job. You got paid last week. I don't get paid if I'm not there. Oh, yeah, I guess so. That makes sense. I said, I've got a plan. I'm recreating myself. I've put a game plan in place. I've got only five years to do what I want to do. They go, oh, what do you mean? I said, I've got this whole thing mapped out. I'm on a journey. They didn't have much to say because I had so much conviction and I, I really have so much fun in what I'm doing. I'm so clear about it. You know, there's not a problem. We had a regional director certification training with the co-founders and, and um, senior vice presidents, the Mises and all of them uh, in Australia yesterday. I'm not sure if the Americans were on it as well. I don't think so. I think it was an Asia Pacific one. But what they said as well is, and Mr. Nelson and, and the co-founders said, we've got the vision. Have you got your vision mapped out? How far can you see? Ten, we said this last week, last time when I trained, 10 years, five years, three years, and to the month, bring it down. How clear are you of where you're going? They're all saying the same thing. How far can I see? How far is you know, my vision? If we wear glasses for ourselves just to be able to see everyone else better, why don't we have our game plan so clear that we know where we are going? If you don't have it, please don't have dinner tonight, don't have the next drink tomorrow morning before breakfast if it's really late in your place. Please sit down over a cup of tea for yourself and have your vision so clear, so clear that it makes it so much easier to make the, st make the next step. You won't have the questions we have on Friday, uh, Friday drinks uh, that you'll have. We won't have those questions because you'll be so clear. And then when someone says no, you let go and you want more. You want more, you want more. Is that all right? Can we do that? Create your own pathway. Do not compare with anyone. There's gonna be day and night. And like I said, failure is meant to happen. But what we do, our reactions to the situations define us. Our reactions to the no's define us. What's our next step is what we need to go. Yes, if someone says no and we're upset and we spend three weeks just asking the same question, what do I do when someone says no, it's not gonna change. Just take the, you know, if you're prepared for the no, you know where to go. If you're prepared for the no, you know which turn, you know, you know how to let go. And then you move on and then you move on and you need to move on. 
you know, a lot of my friends uh, look at me and go, why does she want more? Why does, you know, I, I'll, is it all right if I share with you a picture of my house in India? Is that all right? Is that all right if I share, Mr. Lewis? Is that okay? Okay. And, uh, oh, I had it all prepared. Where is it gone? Uh, uh, it's somewhere. Thing there. Hang on. That didn't work. Eh? Nope. Hang on. I need to move this. There. Can you see that? Can someone unmute? Because I can't see you. You're good. Yep. That's my house in yeah. India. That's half the house. That's the other old, old wing. That's the old wing view. All right. So that's 8,000 square feet built up plus my gardens. Okay. So it's not that, you know, I'm not trying to say this at all, oh, because Mr. Thomas said something or someone else something. Yes, even I had that. And it's not that I'm living anything tough in Australia. We are all quite comfortable. But, you know, in my house now that I'm in is a five bedroom, three bathroom, four toilets, you know, four car space and all the rest. But it's not that, it's not to impress you, but to impress upon you that even though we have it, it's okay to want more. It's okay to go crazy. You know, I'm not comparing with anybody else. I'm comparing and I only showed it to compare with my own parents of what my family gave me, what I'm thankful for. And I'm telling them still sell there and come here. But my mom's bedroom in India is a thousand square feet. The bedroom I got for her, the little guest bedroom is like three and a half by four and a half, small little thing, not much. So I'm trying to give her the same comfort here. It probably won't be a thousand square feet bedroom here, but you know, I'm, I'm trying to say is that's what they gave me all my life. I'm just trying to not compare, but still come up, level up myself bring my best game, still play my A game. I'm still a spring chicken in business to what my dad's done. To me, he was a tycoon enough. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's okay to want more. People say, oh, you're being quite materialistic. That's okay. That's okay to want more. I have put in my game plan, I want a yacht in the next seven years. But I know if I had the yacht, I'll have to drag it with the trailer. I don't have to know how to back up those trailers. So I said, okay, maybe in the next two years, I'll buy myself a jet ski. Okay. Yes. Yes, Mrs. Ismail, when you come to India with me to Bombay, we can have a party <laughs> if I haven't sold it by then. So yes, we can have a party. But I want to instead get a jet ski and see if I can drive the trailer. So that's my practice preparing myself to buy the big yacht. You know, and I've booked myself to go get my boat's license as well. How far are you prepared? I'm taking my game plan very seriously, very seriously. And I've got Miss Ismail on my wing somewhere kicking me along and, and, and navigating. She's going to hit me even harder when I get off this call, I'm sure. <laughs> she said, you told me you spoke so much more. <laughs> but that's what it is. You know, it, it is if you're prepared. But remember, when you have the failures, please, don't be afraid to cry. Please don't be afraid to share. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to be down. You know, it's going to feel bad. It's going to hurt. It's got to hurt. It's got to hurt. I put makeup on my hand because I'm going for a wedding, but I've got a full 300 degree burn off my oven on my arm at my business the other day. It's got to hurt. But next time I won't do what I did, didn't I? I will learn. I will re recalibrate myself. I will learn how to do things differently. If they don't hurt, we trip again. How many of us said, damn, I did it again? Because it didn't hurt enough. It didn't hurt enough the first time. Some things, when they're gone, are gone. They, we can't get them back. We live off things we presume. We presume so many things. Miss Ismail's story on Monday with the son who lived all his life just thinking his mom's got one eye. How many of us heard that story? I'd heard that story before but I cried again. I knew what was coming. I still cried again. I was on a traffic light going, shit, get me a tissue quick. I still, but he presumed he never even sat and spoke to his own mother till she had to write to him in her last days in a letter. Let alone talking to your family and your own, we have us haven't even spoken to ourselves. We don't even know where we are going. So don't waste those moments. Don't leave those things on the table. Don't forget, recalibrate, reconnect with yourself and bring it on. Game on, people. 
Game on. It's game on. First quarter is done. Can we unmute ourselves and say game on? Look at those fingers going quick. Game, game on. on. Game <laughs> on. Bring game it on. on. Game on. Game yes, on. game on, people. That's it. Game on. That's it. That's game it. on. Yeah. Woo Bring it on. Bring it on, people. You've got to recalibrate. Focus. Go within. If you haven't done it, do it, do it, do it. Everyone's saying the same thing. Every leader is saying the same thing. Who watched the video on our chat group we put up for uh, Senior Vice President James Adlin? We saw his uh, training. Yeah. So amazing. I love that guy. I love him. He's so good. He asked the guy to get the dumbbell and, and pull it up. Yeah. And we pulled it up. He said, oh, that's a swing. It's not a perfect, but it's okay. It's okay. We don't have to be perfect. We don't have to know it all. How many of us heard the saying, was it last week or whenever we had is the, um, the amateur on, on fire is better than, you know, the perfection on ice. Yeah, you've got to get in there, just get messy, get make mistakes and keep going. It's okay. It's okay. That's fine. You don't have to be perfect. But then once you failed, rise like the phoenix. Rise like the phoenix and keep going. Keep going, keep going. Take risks. Without risk, there is nothing. Be bold, take risks. Yes, you're 100% market will probably the champions will come under the the cold market go for it it's amazing it's uncomfortable but it's amazing get out there you know and 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 that's how you need to go no matter what you do someone's going to be unhappy no matter what you do someone's going to be unhappy with it it's okay that's okay you can't satisfy 100 percent of the people all the time we all watch a movie or watch something and people say no i didn't like it it was quite eh. some say i loved it had a, everyone's going to have a different perception, aversion, understanding, feeling, emotion. No matter how hit the movie is, someone's not going to like it. Yeah? Who likes Tom Cruise? Some do, some don't. Oh, all the girls went up. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but some do, some don't. That's okay. Is he still a huge star? Is he still a huge celebrity? Yes, he is. Miss Collins loves him. Loves him. Look at her smile. Americans, please have Miss Collins there. <laughs> Send her a visa. <laughs> and I loved when Mr. Nelson said the other day, between social media and reality, we get lost. We surround ourselves with all that fluff. Yeah, keep it real, keep it central, you know, and don't take life too seriously. Have some fun, have some fun. Mr. Thomas loves to have fun. I love his energy, absolutely love it. Even if he whips you, it doesn't hurt as much because he does it in a fun way, but he's sent a message through. He sent a message through. You know, he said it with a purpose. It's meant to come through. You've got to have some fun, right? So fire up from within. Be sure of where you're heading. Take it all the way, friends. It's game on time. So enjoy your journey. Enjoy this journey. Enjoy your life, but be very clear of where you're going. If you haven't set yourselves do it. I can't say it enough. Thank you very much, everyone. I uh, hope you had a, you know, a good session. I, I could, you know, re bring everything back from the week we've heard from everyone. These are stories we've heard uh, and we share every single day. What is the step? Whether it's day one or one day you will do something about it or today is day one, you take action. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a blessed evening. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta close this out, okay? She's just trying to leave over here. You can't just leave after that, okay? I gotta give you a good exit, okay? And your floors are just always so shiny, Kaz. Those floors, they're just so shiny. Look at those, look at those. Oh, okay, nice so Thank you. <laughs> a couple of things that she said, traditional business owners' checks are not guaranteed. We pay everyone first and then we take the leftovers. That's how that goes. Now, she said spiritual weapons, spiritual weapons. I hope everybody caught that part. Opportunities don't make appointments. That was my favorite quote from her tonight. Opportunities don't make appointments. <clears throat> Hot air balloon rises after it drops the sandbags. And I love how she brought back points from other trainings. That was amazing. 
Tony Kupas always says that opportunity is never missed. It's simply passed on to those that are willing to take action. That's one of the quotes that he says all the time. She also said, if you want to succeed, you have to be okay with failing. How far can you see? How far is your journey mapped out? Do you have your two-year plan, five-year plan, 10-year plan? Do you have that? She said, create your own path. And it's game on. Kaz, you gave me goosebumps tonight. That was such an amazing call. Can we all give her a round of applause for doing such an amazing job? And she was trying to leave without me closing it out for her. Thank you so much, Ms. Kaz. Go ahead. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the opportunity. And it's so amazing to be with such dynamic people every week, to be there every week. It's so good. We just need to now succeed and get pushed along by these champions. It's so good. I was feeling down in the week. I just wanted someone to talk. As Natasha said, we don't know much of each other. We're learning each other. You know, I'm sure there'll be things I'll say, she'll say, we're still finding our footing as how far we can go. But I like it. I like it. I said, please kick me along. I want to go to the next step. But you will find it. Surround yourself with the right people. Surround yourself with the right people who are smarter, better, and who will challenge you. If they're going to say yes to everything you want, you're not going to go that far. Go with people who are going to challenge you. And this lady does challenge me. So I want to be spend more time with her. Natasha, in a nice way. Don't be Thank soft. you. <laughs> you're amazing. All right, guys, seven days left. Make sure you are registered and your link is only good for you. So you can't give it to someone else and they can't get on it because it's going to kick you off. Okay, that's how that's how that's working. Okay, so make sure you're registered seven more days tomorrow evening. We'll be back with training at 6pm. Everybody have an amazing night. And we'll see you tomorrow.